I've opened up quite a few Hidden Mickey mystery pouches on my channel over time, but I'm kind of extra excited for the Hidden Mickey mystery pouches I have today because these are brand new from Disneyland. So these are new mint green Hidden Mickey mystery pouches, and these are kind of different than the normal mystery pouches. So each year Disneyland and Disney World are supposed to get either one or two new releases of Hidden Mickey pins. Earlier this year for the 2018 wave, Walt Disney World got all their pins in the parks, and so all of those 2018 pins were available via cast member trading, but then months went by and more months went by and the Hidden Mickey pins still hadn't appeared at Disneyland. So last month the 2018 Hidden Mickeys finally appeared at Disneyland and they appeared in the form of these mystery pouches. So normally Hidden Mickey pins are only available through trade with cast members and on pin boards, and then it'll be one to two years later when they show up for sale in these mystery pouches. But at Disneyland for the 2018, which is now 2018 Wave A, these pins are direct to mystery pouches, so I'd say these will probably end up being some of the most rare hidden Mickey pins, since they're not widely released on cast member lanyards and you can actually only purchase them. I have been waiting for these pins to come out for so long because they have a set of Emperor's New Groove hidden Mickeys. If you can see on my pin board there behind me, I love to collect Emperor's New Groove pins. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. So really what I want from these pouches is some new Emperor's New Groove hidden Mickeys. Normally in the mystery pouches I want completer pins, and there actually are the 2018 Disneyland completer pins in here. I actually was already able to trade for the Emperor's New Groove completer, so really I just want the regular ones, and then if I don't get them in here hopefully I can at least trade for them with these pins. But I'm psyched that these pins are at least finally out. Disneyland now does have a new series of Hidden Mickey pins available for trade with cast members, and that's 2018 Wave B pins. I can't remember whether or not those have also appeared at Walt Disney World. So yes, there now are new Hidden Mickey pins via trade with cast members, but for the 2018 Wave A's, they're only in these mystery pouches. But that's enough explanation for why these are interesting and exciting. We'll flip the camera around and then open these up. All right, so I have two of these mint Hidden Mickey pouches here. So if you need a color code recap, the pink mystery pouches are 2015 Wave A, dark blue 2015 Wave B, white 2017, and mint now are Disneyland 2018 Wave A's. These have a yellow sticker on them, so I think that they're around $13 in the parks. Okay, I'm gonna take my scissors and open up our first one, and fingers crossed I have something Emperor's New Groove inside. Like all these pouches, the pins are just tucked into the cardboard here. And hooray! Oh my gosh, I am so happy. This is awesome. So I am definitely already pleased with these pins because I got one of my Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickeys, and this is the squirrel. I am so super happy that they included the squirrel in the set of Hidden Mickey pins since it's such a unique and rare character to see. I love this little guy. These Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickeys are also really nice for all the metal detail on them. It's a really intricate, pretty design in the background. I will this I will say though, paint on this definitely very scratchy. You can kind of see the scratch lines on it. It's a little dipped in places, but the design is cute enough. And here's the back of this pin. This one is Hidden Mickey 5 of 5. And it's very small, but the year does say 2017 on them because Disney has been behind with their Hidden Mickey pins, so the 2017 pins are stamped 2016, and these 2018 pins are stamped 2017, but I think they're finally getting back on track now. So we still have one other Hidden Mickey pin, and it actually looks pretty large. So this one is a stylized Mickey. I'll have to look up and try and remember what set this is from. I don't know if Disneyland had a separate Mickey set, or I know they had a Toontown set. But so this pin has Mickey with his arms raised. It looks like he's running super fast. The paint quality on this pin is at least a little bit nicer. And this hidden Mickey is pin number one of five. Something I do want to note with this pin is this pin has no nubs on it. Typically all hidden Mickey pins have at least one or two nubs, and the nubs are kind of useful in helping to see if it's real or fake. Because typically when a pin doesn't have nubs, that's not a good sign in terms of authenticity. But as a note, this pin has absolutely zero nubs on it. 
So very happy to get an Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickey in that pouch. We'll see if I can get lucky and get another one in this pouch. I definitely am gonna complete this set one way or another. It'd be easiest if I can just get them myself in the mystery pouches. So we have our two pins in here, and I don't see anything circular, so no Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickeys. This one here looks like the chaser pin for that Mickey series. So this looks like Mickey in kind of a strong walk pose. So this is the chaser of the Hidden Mickeys because it's all silver and it doesn't have any enamel in it. I personally do not like the chaser Hidden Mickey pins at all because I kind of find them pointless since they don't have enamel on them. And I just don't find them to be as pretty. But at least you know the quality of this is gonna be pretty good because there's no enamel to have problems with. So this says Hidden Mickey pin four of 10 because they're numbered as the chaser pins. And again, kind of interesting. So the other Mickey from this set didn't have any nubs, but this has two normal nice sharp pointy nubs on it. So we have one more pin here and this looks like a Bigfoot character. And oh, this is Marie. So this Bigfoot character is actually a shared series between Disneyland and Disney World. So you can trade for these pins with cast members at Walt Disney World, but at Disneyland, you can only find them in these mystery pouches. I know this has definitely been a very popular series of hidden Mickeys, and I think Marie is definitely super cute. So I think she'll at least make a pretty nice trader. Miss Marie is hidden Mickey pin number one of five. So overall, not too bad. I'm very happy that I at least got my little squirrel here. One way or another, I am going to complete this Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickey set. So if you do have any of these other pins beside the squirrel and also the Cusco Llama Completer, let me know. I'd love to be able to trade for them. I'll have to look up what the other pins are in this little Mickey series, but I know that Marie is definitely a cute shared pin. But let me know what you think about these Hidden Mickey pins only being available in mystery pouches. It's kind of a bummer for people at Disneyland since you have to buy them instead of trading for them. But hopefully this means that Disney is now gonna get back on track with more consistent Hidden Mickey pin releases. But thanks for watching.